Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, Shavuot, Pentecost, Feast of Weeks, take your pick. Um, we are in the Hebrew year 5783, Gregorian calendar year 2023. Scripture references out of Leviticus 23 verses 15 through 16. You shall also count for yourselves from the day after the Sabbath, from the day when you brought in the sheaf of the wave offering, there shall be seven complete Sabbaths. You shall count 50 days to the day after the seventh Sabbath. Then you shall present a new grain offering to the Lord. Okay, so back it up seven weeks. We're talking barley. Moving forward seven weeks from first fruits, we're talking wheat. So, the cycle of harvest in Israel. So, on a Gregorian calendar, our Western calendar, we are in the year 2023. The holiday of Shavuot, Feast of Weeks, Pentecost, begins at sunset on Thursday, May 25th. The God-appointed holiday ends at sunset Saturday, May 27th. So, now in the Hebrew calendar, this is the month of Sivan on the 6th or the 7th. This is the Hebrew year, 5783. So, in addition to counting off the seven weeks, uh, provisions for the holiday include two loaves of bread, sacrificial lambs, a bull, two rams, a goat, and a drink offering of wine. And the holiday is also a day of rest with no work. Now, for those of you who want to take a good, clean look at it, check out Leviticus 23, verses 17 through 21. In the Old Testament and in the Hebrew, this holiday is referred to as Shavuot. And the word Shavuot means weeks. And this holiday is one of the three holidays where Jewish men are required to come to Jerusalem. We get that from Exodus 23, verses 14 through 17. The men were to make their presentation and sacrifice before God at the temple. And as stated in the Leviticus passage, it is seven weeks after Passover. It's a celebration of the completed grain harvest. And again, we're talking about wheat in this case. The holiday is also a celebration of God giving the Torah or instruction or the law to nation Israel out in the desert uh, after they came out of Egypt. And because of this, Shavuot is considered as the beginning or the birth of Judaism. So this is about pattern, uh, patterns of history. Uh, the law was given on Mount Sinai roughly 1,500 years before Christ. Some would say 16, 15 to 1,600 years. Nation Israel honored this holiday every year. Eating and drinking dairy products are part of the celebration of Shavuot. And many think the custom of dairy products is in reference to the Bible verses re referring to a promised land flowing with milk and honey. And we get that from Exodus 3. Verse 8, part A, so I have come down to deliver them from the power of the Egyptians and to bring them up from that land to a good and spacious land, to a land flowing with milk and honey. And I got that from myjewishlearning.com. For those of you interested, click on the link. More detail there provided. Um, you know, and, and, and from the time of uh, Moses roughly 1,500 years, 1,600 years. Let's look fast forward to 33 AD. And again, nation Israel is celebrating and living the holiday. Acts 2 verse 1, when the day of Pentecost had come, they, that'd be the apostles, were all together in one place. Now in the Greek New Testament, Shavuot, Hebrew, is translated as Pentecost, and that's in the Greek. Per Strong's Concordance, it means the 50th day, the second of three great Jewish feasts celebrated at Jerusalem yearly. The seventh week after the Passover, in grateful recognition of the completed wheat harvest. Now, we transliterate the word to Pentecost in English. Uh, in Pentecost, or Shavuot, is the day promised by Jesus of the giving of the Holy Spirit. 
reference John 14, verse 26, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to you remembrance all that I said to you. So the Holy Spirit, the instructor, the understander, the conduit uh, between man and God, if you will. It's, uh, it's our lifeline. Acts 2, verse 4, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues. That'd be languages. Uh, I know I'm going to upset some people. Word is lingua in the Greek. Uh, references tongues. In the Old Testament, it's lip. What lip do you speak? Greek, what tongue do you speak? English, what language do you speak? As the Spirit was giving them utterance. So it's like these people had the ability to speak other languages. Uh, It is seven weeks after the death of the sacrificial lamb, Jesus, Shavuot, Pentecost, is also the day God the Father gave the Holy Spirit. And because of this, Pentecost is considered the beginning or the birth of the church, believers in Christ. So the beginning of Judaism, the law given on Pentecost, the Holy Spirit given, you know, we'll have the Spirit written on our hearts. So we, you know, as believers, we may not know the law, but we fundamentally, deep down, we understand right from wrong. It's written uh, in and on our hearts. Uh, believers in Jesus. Hebrewforchristians.com is the reference for this. And that's that's kind of the, the, the pattern of history. Now, there are some... And I drift in and out of this camp. Some think uh, that the rapture or the resurrection of the dead, the wheat harvest, you know, we're the, that's, that's when the church began. Uh, God will complete this act at some point in the future where he comes and takes his, or to be Christ comes and takes his bride, the church. Some think on Shavuot or Pentecost. Uh, and I can tell you personally, that's that's the camp I originally started in, and then I later I I'm of the mindset that it's that it's in the fall in and around the fall feast because of the new moon harvest. And there's only one new moon harvest, and that's trumpets. That's in the fall, and there are there are very good arguments for both Pentecost and for the, for trumpets, and who knows that maybe both. I mean, we, we as humans kind of get stuck in, uh, well, it's this or that. And a lot of times with God, it's and this and that. Uh, and I know that's probably blasphemy. Some of you folks are like, oh, you just lost your rocker and whatever. But excellent scriptural arguments for both camps of a resurrection rapture event in and around Pentecost, in and around Trumpets. Uh, a lot of marriage, wedding, ceremonial hints in the fall that would suggest that. Uh, T.W. Tram has done some excellent work, documentation, research, etc. for both. And uh, I'm going to paraphrase and steal from him. It's like, we don't know the day. We don't know the hour. And we just need to be ready is the point. Uh, I mean, just take a look at the world going on around us. It's it's a dumpster fire and the fire's getting bigger and it's spreading and say what you want. Every day is getting closer and we're all eternal one way or another. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We're not promised tomorrow. So you might want to take in Jesus acts two verse 38. Peter said to them, repent. So change your mind, change your heart. And each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And we need the Spirit. We're stamped with the Spirit. That's uh, that's how we're identified by God as believers. We're stamped with the Spirit. Set apart. Separate is the idea. Uh, and that's what we got. So coming up here in a couple of days... Uh, and I, as always, say what you want. Crazy things happen in and around these feasts. Um, you know, as fate would have it, probably going to have a big debt ceiling <laughs> with with U.S. Congress 
coming up on that day. Just so happens they figured out we're going to run out of money on June 1st. Well, the last day of business for that will be prior to Memorial Day weekend. Uh, sunset on Thursday, which should mean Friday should be a circus. And it's going to be a circus anyway with our Congress, but um, these things just kind of quote tend to happen. Take what you want of it. Coincidence? I don't know. I'll leave that up to you, but it is what it is. Um, big, big, big ticket world events, geopolitical events happen on these days. Just, I, I got a, I got a website full of these things going back to 2010. So check them out. Um, if you are not a member, want to be a subscriber, type your email address in here, uh, hit, uh, subscribe and, um, be, uh, receive notification every time we put something out. Also, these are the different categories that we've written about. Things cataloged again, going back to 2010. This will be categorized under Pentecost, Shavuot, Feast of Weeks. And uh, share with others at paulthepoke.com. Spread the word. Kind of see this ministry as a lot of things, but at the core of it, um, more comfortable with being a, quote, watchman more than anything else. You know, if I see things coming, it's on me to tell others about it. And then uh, no blood on my hands. It's up to the individual to listen and do something about it. So at any rate, I appreciate you guys taking the time to follow along. Appreciate all of you guys listening. Please feel free to share with others. And, um, you know, have a good Shavuot. And happens to coincide with Memorial Day here in the West in the United States. So thanks a lot. Y'all take care. Have a good one. Bye.